my IQ, I'll take an IQ test here. I got a, I'm, I'm 141 on my IQ. You're not one. Oh, four, you're leaving out a decimal point. If you were 141, then you could pass this quiz IQ, easily. IQs are different. Uh, what event took the world to the brink of World War Three in 1962? The Bay of Pigs in, in, in Cuba. Oh, my Oh, my oh no, God. the Red Russian Missile Crisis. With oh, Cuba. my God. Dude. Who was the U.S. president when um, World War II ended? Dude. It's either Roosevelt or Eisenhower. Okay. Uh, I would have to you say. You almost said Eisenheimer, like I Eisenheimer. Said, Were you such an old no, man? No, I didn't. I, uh, <laughs> uh, it, was, it was Roosevelt. <laughs> All right, very good. That's wrong. <laughs> well, the end of World War II was in the... Uh, then was Eisenhower. Was in what? In the 50s. <laughs> Here's what happened. Yeah, what I happened? Think. Germany was still... go After we dropped the bomb, Germany didn't just say, hey, we're done. We still had to go in... What does IQ stand for? <laughs> Intellectual quotation. Whatever. The Q... I don't know. Intellectual... <laughs> Quiz. Your IQ, which you are saying is 141, 141, yet you have no idea what IQ stands for. What do you think it stands for? Quotient. Uh, intelligence Quot quotient. Well, that's that same thing. <laughs> Voss is Jewish and doesn't know about World War II. I know, I, I know a lot about it. What uh, do you know about thank it? Thank you, Laurie. What's that? You didn't know who surrendered. I'll Dumb, you, you're right. I bet you can't explain right. the whole Bay of Pigs. What, it, what was it about? What, 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 what? I know. Uh, we were over there. But, you know, you know, it's all history from there. <laughs> <laughs> well, you are. You're a rock with teeth. <laughs>